Who killed these people? A fearsome warrior. He demanded I tell him the tale of Shigenori's heavenly strike. When he didn't hear the answers he sought, he flew into a rage and butchered them. What did he want to know? I am not sure, my lord. Tell me the story. I need to know what he's after. When Tsushima was first settled, a strange and terrible thunderstorm swept across our island. Wherever lightning struck, beasts of lightning appeared. These violent creatures tore through villages, causing death and destruction, moving too quickly to be stopped. The people knew only one man who could possibly stand against the lightning beasts, Shigenori, the fastest swordsman in all of Tsushima. Shigenori never lost a duel. With years of practice, he had created the Heavenly Strike, an attack that struck quicker than the eye could follow. Shigenori lured the creatures to a desolate beach in Komatsu, where the sand would slow their movement. Their clash turned the sand to ash and bleached the leaves of trees white. Shigenori's heavenly strike cut through them faster than they could move. As the final beast fell, the storm cleared and Tsushima was safe again. Shigenori began a life of seclusion. Few students found him, and only the bravest and most skilled proved worthy of learning the heavenly strike. When a storm approaches, a sword is placed at Shigenori's rest by a student who knows of its location to ward off attacks from beasts of nature. The murderer wishes to learn Shigenori's heavenly strike. It sounds dangerous in the wrong hands. Which way did he go? A woman fled toward a nearby bridge. He chased her. He'll answer for what he did here. That's the bridge the musician mentioned. Someone weeping. Where? My lord, so many slaughtered. Did you see the man who killed them? I know who he is. Yasuhira Koga. I've heard the name. He fought for the Yarikawa clan. Would you recognize him? I'll never forget that leering face. Follow me. Perhaps I can pick up his trail on the other side of the bridge. Horse tracks. Yasuhiro was in a hurry. What more do you know of Yasuhiro Koga? Only that he was a retainer for the Yarikawa clan years ago. After the rebellion was crushed, the clan was dissolved and retainers dismissed. Rumor says he left Tsushima, but when the Mongols attacked, he returned. From where, I'm not sure. It doesn't matter. He cannot be allowed to live after what he's done. Up ahead, they're constructing a roadblock. Mongols, hide yourself. Throw your planes! Let's 
Yasuhira Koga anywhere. I don't see Yasuhira Koga anywhere. We're pursuing a man named Yasuhira Koga. He just left. He's been staying in the watchtower. Working with the Mongols? Yes. But last night they argued. Only made out one word. Chigenori. I'll search the watchtower. Find somewhere safe before more Mongols come. It's everywhere. What has Yasuhira been doing? White leaves, like those bleached by lightning in the tail. The Mongols have their own version of Shigenori's tail. Maybe he wanted to compare it to the musician's version. A dueling ring. He's looking for it. Yasuhira is looking for someone who can teach him Shigenori's heavenly strike. The white leaves. There are trees like that not far from here. That's where he went. You've helped enough. Get to safety with the others. Thank you, my lord. I hope you punish that monster. Need to find white-leafed trees.
Katsuhira must have gathered leaves from here. There it is. White leaves, like those bleached by lightning in the tail. I told him everything I know. Someone's being tortured. Negium Harsinta. was a man named Yasuhira with these Mongols. Mm. He wanted to learn the heavenly strike from my grandfather and took him away. Your grandfather's in danger. Where did they go? His old training ground. A dueling ring on the Komatsu coast. Please, <laughs> save him. Trace 
Yasuhira cannot learn the heavenly strike. Dueling ring. What has Yasuhira been doing? Poor man. Killed by Yasuhira. Blade has seen many duels. Footprints. Still fresh. Yasuhira Kuga. The butcher of the rebellion. Time hasn't changed you. You were a child when Yorikawa burned, boy. For 15 years, I dreamed of cutting Lord Shimura to the bone. You won't live long enough to face me. The old man taught me the legendary attack before I killed him. Let me show you. Waiting for boy. Not waiting. Studying. Learning.
deserve greater respect than this. I promise I'll use Shigenori's technique to protect Tsushima against all who would harm it. Good horse, Noble. Centuries ago, the warrior, Tadayori, saved Azamo Bay from pirates. My lord, please join me. Sounds like you have an interesting tale to tell, but I'm surprised to find you in Azamo. We both go where we're needed, Lord Sakai. My story is for your ears as well. Centuries ago, Tadayori Nagao was the greatest archer on our island, famed for his wisdom and perfect aim. The Kami Hachiman himself was so impressed, he gave the archer his armor, light and strong beyond compare. In those days, cruel pirates raided the coast. They threatened the town of Azamo Bay with annihilation. The people fled to safety, but Tadayori faced the pirates alone, wearing his mythic armor. The pirates stormed the town. Tadayori's arrows tore through them. Few survived, but not one blow pierced Tadayori's armor. Years later, Tadayori died peacefully at home, but his armor mysteriously vanished. Some say his descendants guard it still, awaiting the rise of a warrior to defend Tsushima once more. The little writing about Tadayori that survives refers to a violet crown, a place in the north of Azamo, strewn with violet chrysanthemums, where Tadayori would often meditate. Driving the Mongols from our home is all I care about. This armor could help, if it's as good as you say. His armor is without equal, my lord. And I believe it is still out there. Find the Violet Crown. Thank <laughs> you. 
Violet chrysanthemums. A musician who told me the legend of Toledo to mentioned it. it could lead to the violet crown. Violet Crown. Tadayori's armor could be here. Incense. Burned recently. Something inside that container. A map to Tadayori's rest. No <laughs> By the chrysanthemums. Tadayori's rest could be close.
cliffs are too sheer to climb. There must be another way in. Mongols, how did they find this place? A map, like the one from the Violet Crown. Tadayori's rest. Whose graves are these? Same incense from the Violet Crown, lit recently. Time's rushing river slows, Tadayori's mind at rest. One drawn bow pierces many. The emblem of Clan Nagao, Tadayori's clan. What are you doing here? Leave this place! I'm not here to fight. I am Jin Sakai, nephew of Lord Shimura. You're a liar and a thief! Defend yourself! I don't want to kill you. Stop! Fighting Mongols, not each other. You're nothing but a dirty scavenger! It's not possible! You know how to use that stolen blade. My lord, my name is Kaede, last of Tadayori's line. I heard the samurai were all killed, assumed you were a scavenger. I'm no thief, but I seek your ancestor's armor. And you deserve to wear it, Lord Sakai. But the armor is lost. And you have no way to find it. There is a line from an old scroll. Tadayori watches over Azamo Bay for eternity. 
I suspect it's a clue to where he hid the armor. Tadayori's armor gave him great speed and deadly aim. Wear it in defense of the innocent, as he once defended Azamo Bay. Watching over Azamo Bay could mean the cliffs behind town. Nobu, come! 
My lord, how did you find us? A descendant of Tadayori pointed me here. What happened to you? A Mongol spy found a long forgotten scroll written by Tadayori's firstborn. They forced me to decipher it, and it led us here. So they found the armor? No, I misdirected them, hoping you'd reach us in time. You took a big risk. And it paid off. The armor is hidden beneath this memorial. Claim it for yourself, my lord. A memorial to Tadayori. <laughs> Tadayori's armor. The artistry is incredible. Stay back, musician. I won't let the Mongols near you. Watching Tadayori himself. The armor is perfect for an archer. My tale found the right audience. And now it's time for me to move on, my lord.
Come, my lord. The story of Uchitsune awaits. Long ago, an emperor and his palace were plagued by a winged demon. The emperor sent for Uchitsune, the most renowned archer of his time, who wielded a bow blessed by a kami. When the demon next came, Uchitsune was ready, long bow in hand. His aim was truer, and his arrows flew farther than any archers in Japan. Uchitsune loosed a single arrow. It pierced the demon's heart. As it fell to the ground, it cursed Uchitsune with its final breath. Soon after, Uchitsune saw the forms of the demon everywhere. His legendary bow never missed, but each arrow that hit its mark was met with a very human scream. The trail of bodies led to his capture. Though many called for Uchitsune's death, the emperor felt pity for him. Uchitsune was banished to Tsushima Island. He died years later, alone and forgotten by all but a few. The demon slaying Longbow has remained hidden here since his passing. Some say it awaits a worthy master. Others believe it still holds the demon's curse. Cursed or not, the bow sounds powerful. Take care, my lord. The bow inspires darkness in those who seek it. I'll bear that in mind. The question is where to begin looking. To quiet his mind, Uchitsune often walked the coast, obsessed with the blue hydrangeas that grew there. Perhaps they'll provide a clue. Blue hydrangeas like the musician mentioned. I must be close. Huh. Strange. That tomb is cracked open. An island surrounded by blue flowers, which is in this bowl, could be there. Which is in this resting place. Searching for the cursed bow. It leads only to death. He wore the mask of a Tengu demon. And that was a warning shot. Can't let, can't let my guard down.
Draw your blades! from Komatsu Forge are true. You are the samurai who destroyed the Mongols there. Can you get somewhere safe? I think so, my lord. But the Mongols are watching from the crossroads above the river. Anyone traveling north from Azumo is in danger. I'll see to the Mongols.
last stand and fight! flowers. That island is covered in blue flowers. Continue your search, and Tsushima will fall. Enough. Speak plainly. This is your last chance. Leave the boar alone. Flowers. This is the right way.
Bimbo must be there. Which is this longbow? See nothing but death to the end of your days. So your bow. How can I improve your bow? Death from afar. Thank you. Until next time. My lord, anything to offer from your hunting? Just for you. I hope it helps. Until we next meet.